Hi YouTube friends, Brad of Silver Lining Daydream. So today we're going to be replacing our above ground pool pump. This is the Hayward Matrix Power Flow. And whether or not you're using the same pump or a different pump, they're all pretty much similar. So this is going to be a short video and you're going to get a lot out of this I hope. So let's get right into it. So it took about a week for this to get here so our pool got green again. But you can see here the old pump and I just want to explain. So the switch under here that turns it on and off, that's what broke. We're in the northern part of the states and these pool pumps only last about five, six years. I used to bring them inside in the winter, but it didn't really extend the life. Yeah, let's just get right into this. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you disconnect the power. We're just gonna unplug ours, or you can just turn the breaker off at the panel. I'm just gonna remove this fitting with a channel lock here. And I'm just gonna peel the Teflon tape off these fittings. I'm just going to kind of clean this off a little bit. That way when I thread it in, that's the proper direction for the tape. I always wonder whether or not I have enough Teflon tape when I do this. We want it snug. We don't want to over tighten this. Very snug, in fact. It's all plastic, so it can break. Just want it to seat. I think we'll come back at it this way. I think that's pretty tight. I think it's all the way on. But we'll find out. Some people will put that goopy stuff on there. I've never used it. Uh, it's always worked for me in the past with just Teflon tape. Typically you just need one of these, but over the years it's been leaking, so I've added a second one of these clamps. I want to reseal this, and I'm going to be reusing this. Let's see. Let's just try tightening it. There we go. These are sharp. I don't like them by my wrist, by the way. Almost. I knew one of these is on back order, so I couldn't order one of these. I suppose I could heat this up. took eight days for this pool to turn green again again guys if I cut this and push this in I probably won't be able to just push it in I'll have to heat this up and the idea is just get by for another week or two now it's coming back what I did last time was once this was threaded in there I think I just pushed it down Like if I go anymore, it's gonna break. I don't want to fix this yet until I get this on because I don't want this to break. <sighs> Got it. Awesome.
make sure this seal it's like a big o-ring is in here properly and it is it's seated nice so we're gonna just go ahead and put it on try not to get stung by a bee that it's in straight. I won't tighten it yet. Tight. I think we're good. I'll make sure it's in the off position. Off. And I think we'll plug the cord in. Make sure it's dry. You can see where over the last five minutes all the air went out of the system and I checked it for leaks and there's no leaks. Thank you so much for watching our pool pump installation video. I'll link another video at the bottom right corner at the end of this video and you can watch that on how to clear up a green pool. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Give us a like and share a video. It helps us to be found and we'll see you on the next video.